Hey everybody, it's Yusuf for Dad's Free Time Let's Plays, getting it in. Alright, uh, what's there not to like about Kim Possible? I've never heard anybody be a hater for Kim Possible. Um, I think the cartoon hasn't aged well. I tried to go back to watch it with my daughter, and it's just, it's, uh, it's not there. It's, it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, the video game was pretty awesome. Uh, this one specifically. There's a couple of extra ones that didn't really hit the mark, but this one, this one is platforming, platforming excellence. It, it's a game that's not too hard, but not too easy, and it's fun to play like all the way through uh, without having any stressors. Uh, the game never gets too hard, never gets too easy. And, and uh, even though there's obviously a few problems with it, because it's just a Disney licensed game, it's one of the more better ones I've ever played. So, uh, without further ado, well, one more thing. There's different outfits for Shigo and Kim Possible. And uh, I collected all the icons that will allow you in-game to change the outfits around. So, I, I will be doing that effectively. Anyway, let's let's go ahead and get started. See y'all. Uh, sorry, as you can see, all of them. So I don't have to collect anything. I did get all the little special missions too, but special missions are pain in the butt. They're they're really difficult, y'all. They they really test your patience. But anyway, let's get let's get moving. I always think Shigo looks really silly back there. Kim looks dope. Uh, Ron, everybody else, but Shigo is like, who the heck drew her? Uh, not the best time, Wade. Sorry, Kim. You and Ron need to head over to Monkey Fist's castle fast. Seems Draken is about to steal something called the Mystical Monkey Idol. I don't know much about it, just that it may possess mind control powers. On our way. Uh, Kim. <laughs> okay, let's get this mystical idol thingy and get out. Not worried about monkeys, are you? What? Me? Oh, come on. Uh, no. <laughs> Why? You see any? Ron! Wade, I lost Ron. Can you track his communicator signal? Got it. He's in the secret dojo, near a strange energy signal. Could be the item. All over it. Alright, y'all. We're gonna go through this tutorial. And they're gonna freeze me up every five minutes, but I'm going to move through this pretty nicely. The thing I like about Kim Possible is that she's a Mary Sue. For those of you who don't know who Mary Sues are, it's uh, when a woman has all these talents and skills to, to overcome anything. However, um, there's no explanation as to why she's so good. Except, uh, as far as Kim Possible is, it says start a wall, jump with X, press, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, as far as Kim is concerned, we, we know she knows gymnastics because she's a cheerleader. But, you know, when I first started watching the show, I don't watch Kim Possible all the time. When I first started watching the show, I thought that Kim was like a trained operative. And then when I found out the actual... The actual, um like a uh, premise behind Kim Possible's basically she just um, she made a website she made a website and um, saying that Kim Possible can do you know anything for you and and she was thinking you know odd jobs like mow lawns uh, babysit things like that but uh, then people started asking her to do more and more difficult things. And um, <laughs> I, I, I think the, the premise is great. They kept asking her to do more and more difficult things. And then, then uh, she, kept, 
she kept uh, winning. She kept overcoming these tasks very cordially, so, um... So it just so happened that Kim Possible was really that awesome. Every time she needs to get somewhere, she calls in a favor from somebody she's helped. What's that all about? Ghost monkeys. And they, they're always like, man, if, <laughs> if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have survived that avalanche. Like, goodness gracious. <clears throat> But it borderlines on absurd, so that's what makes it a cool show, because um, no matter how awesome Kim Possible is, it's still part of the joke. You know, Kim Possible doesn't lose. And, uh, yeah. Nothing down there, is there? Felt like there was. Oh, maybe I should have kicked it. No point in being nimble in this game. Just punch and kick everything. Jumping press down, the directional button to slam straight down. Okay. Anyway, it's a cool little female empowerment thing. Most of the time when they have Mary Sue's, I can't stand them. But that's because they, they expect you to take Mary Sue's seriously. Like, they, they expect you to believe that the girl just kind of can do everything without training and stuff. And, and uh... It's a serious... It's a serious thing. She's she just... Awesome. But uh, Kim Possible is, you know. Yay. She's not whack. Plus, you know, she's one of the redheads. There, there are a few. There are a few redheads in in the gaming cartoons and media. That are really fucking awesome, and I love them. Now, let's get that idol before Kim Possible and her buffoon sidekick show up. Maybe you could help a little this time. Ooh, gotta take this. Yes, mother. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, you talk to mommy while I steal the idol. Anyway, um... She goes cool, too. In this game, they gave her these huge thighs. I don't know if they give her th huge thighs in the, um... TV show, but I approve of these thighs, for real. Look at those things. Them are some yams. I'll be in love with she go for that. Although it's really hard to work with that green green black combination. They kind of have to make her skin look a little little pea pea color just to kind of um work with that color. And that whole emo hair thing is kind of funny to me too. Whoop my goodness. Really? Yeah, give me that. Pushing the buttons too early.
But now you're gonna tell me the ham spring, ham ham spring. <laughs> Might as well be a ham spring. She's using them hams. All right, let's go. That's not fair at all. Seriously. Oh, this game's kind of cheap when it comes to combat. They have plenty of um, plenty of life ups around, so I don't get too mad about it. But it's pretty bad. There's a couple of times I died where I was like, really. This game is definitely more about the um. Definitely more about about the uh, platforming, not so much about anything else. The fighting is just. I wouldn't say it's garbage. It's just not the highlight, which is good. A lot of people said that they don't. I mean, a lot of uh, reviewers say they don't like. Um, A lot of reviewers say they don't like it when when uh, adventure games. And I guess platformers care too much about the combat and make it like super serious. Try to make the combat system extra deep. It's kind of why I like playing these little licensed Disney games because you know there's a couple of hidden gems in there. You know. Um, me talking smack but um I went and watched the movie Brave and I was really disappointed in it because it was just like halfway through the movie her mom turned into a bear and instead of it being like a, um interesting an interesting take on a um A different society of, of Irish people. Ouch. I'll take that though. Different take on Irish Irish people or was she Scottish? I couldn't remember. I think she was Scottish. But instead of it being a different take on that, they just kinda like diverted your attention and made it about her accidentally turning her mom into a bear. And then trying to turn her mom back from being the bear before she, like, turned into the bear completely. And I was really irritated about that. I was hoping, I was hoping that, um, the main character of the game was going to show, like, use all of her skills to, to be like this interesting warrior but instead they just kind of turned it into some kooky teenage girl movie in which she just like outdid all the other boys and and uh didn't want to get married to any of them and had a misunderstanding with her mom it was just uh it didn't have the amount of action that i was hoping it, color on the column, that should knock the idol down. Not a prob.
I have to mention that my uh, daughter beat the stage by waiting, waiting for them to come through, and then just pushing the punch button until they died. It was pretty funny. Uh, patients are waiting. Gotta go now, mother. Ego, get that idol. Thank you. Hmm. I wonder what that hairy footed bungalow wants with this. Where'd he come from? Pat Oswald. It's not a villain's exit. This is a villain's exit. <laughs> oh, what happened? Everything went white, and then black, and then blue. Ah, ah, blue! Ah, blue! Last. I'm... I'm... What's your name again? The mystical monkey idol must have switched their minds. We'll need it to switch them back. Whoa, check out the brains on the prom queen. See ya, freak. Ah, here you go. Stay put, guys. We'll be right back. Professor Dementor's air carrier is hovering near the clock tower. He must be on his way there. And she goes right behind him. Got it. On my way. Oh, and Kim, I've sent you some gum. The super sticky kind. Try it out. Thanks, Wade. Anyway, let me change my outfit. Move to the next one. So yeah, so what I did was I bought the actual game. I bought the actual Brave game. Because, uh, and, and that Brave game actually was her fighting and doing all this cool warrior stuff leveling up on swords and bulls bull and arrows you know doing a whole bunch of cool stuff they had to change they had to change the story to um, make it combat ready which is what they should have done with the movie made her fight more made her cool but I don't know it's a disappointment I don't know if, if it was just because they they like play tested a bunch of girls and the girls were like we wanted to be strong but we don't want it to be that strong you know that would suck I realized that I'm never going to be the demographic anymore. Like, I'm not a little girl, I'm not a teenage boy, or a six-year-old boy. I'm like a grown-ass, almost 40-year-old man who has kids who kind of wants my children to be, um, there's nothing there. Well, I gotta use the gum. Kind of want my kids to, to be a little bit more confident. I don't like them to fall, uh, sus, uh, acceptable to the tropes that women often get caught into like um, like I saw um, a video the other day about women not getting uh, not getting married because their standards are way too high you know 
we're all kind of looking for a knight in shining armor, and that kind of sucks for a guy because he, um, I'm sorry I'm talking about all this, but <laughs> you're like, just play the fucking game already. Well, it kind of sucks because at some point, every dude knows that the reason he's with a woman is because she settled she settled for him because she wanted something better and she couldn't get it so she just decided she'd be with this guy you know and i've seen some some women you know like when they get married say such great things about their husband you know and i always think that's really awesome i don't have that with my wife wade i'm stuck i see an elevator above me any idea how to activate it let me check. Got it. There's a control room inside. If you send Rufus in, I bet he could turn the power on. You're the best. Yeah, she's not the type of person that says nice things like that, so. It's not entirely her fault. It's just how she was raised, you know? She's just... I have a daughter that's like her, so she has a really hard time saying nice things too. And that's why I play video games a lot. Ah, uh, you can grab the ledge there. These Rufus sections suck. I want to go on record saying that. They suck like really bad. But, I have to admit that they're better than the Game Boy Advance game, which Rufus's controls are super horrible. Here, he's just kind of floaty. For a naked mole rat. I don't know, I don't know what kind of skills they have. Speaking of rats... Yo, I found a dead rat in the basement today where I where I normally play where I play like some of my games. So my 360, a PlayStation 2, and um Xbox and my Wii are down there. And I've been doing my thing there for a while. Like some some extern there was a rat there that was alive and I could see him. Like I would play the game and it would be dark. And I was playing the games, right? I ran into his fist and I get hurt. Alright, oh. Oh, come on. Hey, give me that. What we got here? So the exterminator comes through, right? It's, it's, the basement is in our tenant's house. The exterminator comes through because our tenants felt like, well, one of them felt like uh, roaches were biting her legs or something, which they're not from Georgia. 
I've never, I've never seen roaches crawl up in somebody's bed and bite their legs until there's little spots all over them. But the exterminators, they said it wasn't that, but they can, you know, exterminate if, if the ladies were asking. So the ladies had us pay for extermination. And, um, where's the damn thing? I haven't run into the, whatchamacallit in a while. There it is. About to say. That one doesn't make sense. It's not even cold. Fine, whatever. this side again. So yeah, they, they, uh, so I would be sitting in my, uh, room playing video games. I only have one light on and it kind of shines towards the, uh, wall where the TV is and I would see this this rat like crawl out there and so when the exterminators came I told him whoops told him about this rat so they they sprayed for the, um, the roaches, and they also exterminated the rat. So then the rat gets whatever it is that the exterminators are putting out there, and it dies because there's really no way out. I don't know how the rat got in there. I must have left the door open for a little bit, but... These things are pretty damn good, cause, cause he'll, he'll, um, they'll go with your, your run. See, if you keep running, he'll catch up to you. I always thought that was pretty ill. I've never seen a game lead you with the things that people are throwing. 